train disruptions in Tokyo are common, but it seems train operators then know how to placate unhappy passengers. The interesting thing about、uh, Japanese train systems is that if the train has、um, some fault and is delayed,、um, people at the train station, the staff, will actually give out like tickets、um, to prove that there was a delay, so that people who get to work actually have some sort of、um, official excuse letter. And、um, if there is a major breakdown, usually they have a really, really good reason. Usually, weather or you know some some other disaster that that actually warrants that that huge breakdown. Okay.、Yeah. What is the most common reason they cite? Um, surprisingly, is passenger injury. It could be that someone got hurt on a train. It could also be someone jumping onto the tracks. And、um, sometimes when you read the news, it it actually happens quite often in Japan, especially in Tokyo. Okay,、yep. you mean suicides, right? Yeah, train suicides. Jasmine, who travels to Tokyo about four to five times a year, says train breakdowns on one line there do not cause much disruption, as Japan subway lines are comprehensive. So it's a matter of simply going to the other platform or crossing the road to get onto another line to reach the destination. This is, however, unlike Singapore, where most stations are served by just one MRT line. One tip SMRT can pick up from Japan's train operators: the way information is disseminated. Communication-wise, if you are local or you can understand the language, then it's very, very clear. Okay. Yeah. What kind of information is disseminated? Um, it depends on um well where you get the information from.、Mm. But um, if it's on the train itself, then um almost all train cars in Tokyo they have um this LCD screen.、Mm. And、um, they will actually show you in advance, like、um, which train lines are actually、um, delayed, or is there some sort of breakdown?、Mm-hmm. And they will even tell you the reason, like for example, passenger injury or、um, so、a train track inspection or something, so you know which ones to avoid and how to change your、um, travel plans accordingly. Commuters trapped in the SMRT trains on 15 December due to a power disruption were kept in the dark with no announcements for close to an hour, resulting in anger and panic among the 4,000 odd stranded. Both our Prime Minister and Transport Minister have promised an official inquiry into the breakdowns. In Japan, the last time the government addressed the public regarding train disruptions was in March this year. Well, I remember the the last time that they had such a major breakdown was during the、uh, March tsunami. So、um, basically, the whole of Tokyo was just paralyzed.、Um, at that time, I think that was the only time that you know,、um, basically, the government, the ministers, and everyone just came out to say. But that was a very very understandable problem.、Um, a lot of them said they had to actually call friends to call to to fetch them home by car, and the roads were really really crowded. Or、um, I I knew of a few friends who actually walked like four or five hours. Back home, Japanese efficiency may not be enough to eliminate the problem of train breakdowns, but at least operators then know how to reach out to its commuters. Something sorely lacking here. Up next, we compare our system with New York City's.